Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be using Eddie Wineland, and he has Counter Puncher level 2 and Dirty Boxing level 3. His power is 91, so that's pretty good, but everything else is kind of mediocre. I'm just kind of scanning through it. So, if any of you guys watched the fights the other night, on Saturday night, you should know why I'm using Eddie Wineland. It was a pretty good uh, performance he put on. He got caught, you know, in the second round a little bit, but he came back and it was a brutal knockout. I thought, you know, one of the better knockouts of his career. But yeah, it's been a little while, guys. So I figured, you know, I'd do some fights with some commentary. So we're fighting TJ Dillashaw. I gotta get used to uh, fighting and talking again here. It's, uh, like I said, it's been a little bit. Took a little break from uh, making the videos. Oh, I did not mean to do that. But we're gonna go with it. He's probably gonna get right up, which is okay. I'm okay with that. I just hit him with that uppercut hook. I'm just trying to, you know, really just touch him here. He does have the stat advantage, like, you know, a major stat advantage, so we just got to be careful. Fight your fight. Catch that knee. So far, I feel like I'm letting the better shots. Ah. He's throwing a lot of uppercuts. Uppercut, uppercut, uppercut. Right there. Another uppercut. I kind of see what he's trying to do. You know, he's throwing those body kicks. Trying to get me to... uh Overcommit my block to my body, and then you know he's gonna go high. It's a common strategy. Right, now he's starting to pull. He was ducking his head a little bit, so that's why I was throwing that uh, combo there the jab, uppercut, hook. I can't really exchange with him because he'll win every time like right there my head health was flashing so I got it back up throwing those kicks in way too close So, alright. Round one is done. And, uh, I don't know. It's tough, but I feel I got the rock, so it was probably my round. It's hard to tell, though, because they're showing his replays, so. So, let's see what we can do in the second round here. So he's just still going for those body kicks. That was weird. I gotta be careful with those body kicks. I gotta plant and rip right here. Let's try some. Yes, there we go. Alright.
that's one thing I've been working on pretty much since this game has come out is trying to figure out like a good time to plant your feet not a good time it's hard to explain I guess but ah god damn get talking and get rocked because sometimes you know I don't mean to push forward when I'm throwing my combo it's just you get into the game and you know you don't realize that you're doing it so pretty much you gotta train your brain on the controls and like right there he probably didn't mean to push forward with that body kick but he did just you know just by habit But I can't let this guy get comfortable. I gotta get him back for that rock. See if I can throw like an overhand or something here. There we go. Yes, he ducked right into that. Boom! Overhand. Done! Eddie Wineland has some power, guys. If you guys did not see his fight on Saturday, I suggest you guys go watch it. It was a very good fight for Eddie Wineland. I thought it, I thought it was a good fight, and I just liked how uh, Eddie Wineland was moving in that fight, and he just he just fought a smart fight. So that's why I figured I'd try him out today. You know, it inspired me. I'm like, you know, he he's in the game. Why don't I give this guy a try? You know, see if he can hang, see if he can, you know, be viable. And and he is. You know, he doesn't have many perks. I feel like he, you know, low rate fighters should have more perks. But hey, it is what it is. But uh, we'll talk more about that. I'm going to go get another fight, and I'll be right back with you guys. Alright guys, so as you can see... This next matchup is a championship fight, so I'm going to try to conserve my stamina the best that I can, but it all depends really on how aggressive this uh, Bruce Lee player is going to be. Some of these Bruce Lee players come out pretty crazy, some of them are very patient, so it all depends. But uh, if I do see uh, opportunity in this fight, I am going to try to clinch. I'm going to try to use uh, Eddie Wineland's perk, Dirty Boxing. It increases your punching power in the clinch. I think it adds plus three for punches. So I didn't use it in the last fight because the opportunity really didn't present itself. And also I was fighting... Uh, TJ Dillashaw so you know so finally he skips so let's get right to it you don't want to touch up that's all right I see how it is all right spin to win yeah saw that coming all right this guy's just letting it all hang out Let's push him a little bit. Man, I was hoping those punches landed. Those body punches, because his stamina was low. I always try to go to the body when uh, the short-term stamina is low. And right there, I saw an opportunity to clinch, so... I forget, I gotta use punches. Punches to utilize uh, his perk. I always try to use my fighters perks if they're viable. I gotta clinch this dude. Here we go. I believe it's punches and elbows 
Because this guy don't want to be here anyway. He's Bruce Lee. I don't know Bruce Lee's uh, grappling stats, but I would assume they're not that good. I've actually never used Bruce Lee. So we're going to beat him up in the clinch a little bit here. But no, if a perk is like useless, you know, I won't use it, but if it's something I can use, I just feel like, you know, what's the point of not using it, I guess. Like, might as, might as well use it a little bit. Fight to your fighter's strength, you know what I mean? And this guy's getting frustrated, you can tell. He was in the Muay Thai clinch, or I, I had him in the Muay Thai clinch, and he's just punching me. He's not doing any fakes or anything. I'm pretty much keeping him here. There he goes. All right. So we did some damage with the dirty boxing. This guy's stamina uh, is not looking so good. He has a possible uh, four more rounds. That could have been bad. That could have been bad for me. But yeah, in the comments, guys, let me know if you watch the fights or the early uh, prelims. Let me know if you saw Eddie Wineland's fight. But I thought it was a good night of fights. Henry Cejudo, you know, now he's a uh, champ champ, if you guys watched. Uh, Tony Ferguson versus Cowboy Cerrone. I don't know why Cowboy blew his nose, but it is what it is. I feel Tony would have won anyway. That's just my opinion. I still got to be careful. If you guys are wondering why I'm going to Southpaw, it's because it's easier to get the clinch if you're in the same stance as the fighter that you're facing. Like right there, he was in Orthodox. So it was easier for me to get the clinch. This guy's just taking these shots, man. He's not. That's another thing, you know, I'll clinch if I feel like you're not good in it. That's just how, what? They just broke us up. Like, you gotta fight to your strengths, man. Oh, you got caught with that hook. I feel like it's just a matter of time. Oh, God, dang it. Still got to be careful, though. Still got to be careful. I was waiting for a head kick. I was going to duck it, but he kept throwing punches to my block. Saw that spin back kick coming. Overhand right. Boom. Done again. Overhand right. Puts the opponent away. But yeah, guys, I suggest you uh, give Eddie Wineland a try. You never know. You guys might do good with him. Try some new fighters. You know? I'm not saying that you guys don't, but it's just, it, you know, it's fun, man. It's fun. I'll probably end up doing a video with uh, 
Tony Ferguson. I got a few fights with him. I was going to do some fighter showcases, but I just didn't get around to it. But I want to thank you guys for a second around. I also want to thank you guys. Uh, excuse me. Let's rewind a little bit. I want to thank the new subscribers. Thank you for subscribing. Uh, I will start posting more. It might not be every day. Uh, it might just be once a week, maybe twice a week, but if you guys have any fighter requests, I will do my best to, you know, try to use them how, however you want, or if you have any challenges for me. Uh, I still do want to kind of continue the Every Fighter Challenge. It just, you know, it's tough, man. It's tough. It kind of, I guess, to, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? discouraging because you run into the same the same fighters man it's just sometimes you like I kind of have like a love hate relationship with this game like for a while I didn't even play it like I really didn't and you know it's a shame because I love MMA but sometimes this game really frustrates me but other times you know I love the hell out of it so I'm gonna show you guys right now. I am only in Division Four, but I should be in Division f uh, Five soon. Here, I want to show you guys that you know I didn't just get a bunch of fights with Eddie Wineland and just show my wins. As you see right there, I got three in a row. I just fought uh, Demetrius Johnson player, but I don't know. I didn't think the fight was that good, even though I won. So I didn't want to show it. So you guys got to see me beat up uh, Bruce Lee. But anyway, guys, uh, have a good day. Keep having fun, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.